Well, I mean, you know, uh, everyone's, I think, very excited. Um, it can be a bit of a, a nerve-wracking time, I guess, but it's also an exciting time because you, <laughs> excuse me, like you said, you get uh, a chance really to start fresh. And, uh, you know, the last couple years haven't gone quite the way we wish they would have, but now is a chance to uh, turn the page and really, you know, hit the ground running. What did he say that impressed you most in his speech? Uh, I just really like his commitment, I think, to the program. Um, he understands, uh, as well as, like, you know, being from Montana myself, uh, the pride that uh, the community has and really the state for uh, this program and um, I think that's something that keeping in mind will uh, hopefully help us connect better with the fans and you know, just get a lot of energy back into the program. You mentioned that as a main goal, kind of getting the fan base back. What does that do for you as a player when you do have engaged fans? Uh, playing in front of a big crowd absolutely helps you. Um, you know, they provide energy. Um, and you know, there's a reason that, that way on the road is difficult. And when there's a great fan base, loud, and energetic, that it makes it that much more difficult as a road team. So uh, I feel like the, I feel that's going to be a very difficult place to, uh, to play in. Like, what did the team think when you met with the players? Uh, I feel like I said before, we're pretty excited about it. Um, I should say, very excited about it. Like, uh, it's a fresh start for us. Um, we're going to really kind of turn the page from, you know, it's kind of a rocky last year, I guess, um, for it, I guess. And uh, we're just excited to uh, get this new start and uh, just kind of interject some, some new energy into the program. What kind of energy does he bring? Uh, very positive, it seems like, optimistic. Um, and like I said, he has a lot of, he stands for a lot of the right things that, uh, that we all appreciate. So. Okay. Right. I just thought he had great integrity uh, in the meetings. He really caught my eye. Uh, he was one of the ones that we interviewed. That after our interview, after our two hours were up, I was like, "Oh, I could, I could listen to him for a few more hours." About what he had to say. I think that uh, just his experience with uh, winning programs with great guys and his head coach is an amazing guy. And I think that Peter ultimately made a great decision, and I, uh, I back him up. On that. How did he? How did he wow you? Talking to you guys. I mean, how do you, what was the big What did you say to Rowdy? I mean, it wasn't just one thing. Uh, I kind of had this checklist in my mind that I thought our men's program needed to get us back on track. And he's going through. We didn't have to ha ask him every question. I'm like, oh, check, 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 check. And he's just a great guy. And you could tell that he cared so much just from the like, two hour meeting. When you saw him got emotional about being his first year as a, as a head coach, how did that make you feel? I, it just showed that he cared. And he talked about his family a lot. And he talked about his past. And he really opened up to the committee, which is hard to do. And I think that he just did a great job. I'm really excited to see what he's going to do here in the future.